guys welcome to my channel <clears throat> so today I'm going to be doing a reading for the disappearance of Crystal Ann Reisinger who was born in Phoenix Arizona she it was reported missing on July the 3rd 2016 in Crestone Cal Colorado which is a very interesting town in of itself maybe we can speak of it soon she had moved there in order to achieve enlightenment. It's a, um, I can't remember the correct word for it right now, but she, um, <clears throat> she was trying to get spiritually enlightened and she was trying to get sober, so she moved there. Um, <clears throat> her landlord reported her missing on the 13th and that's how her disappearance came about so there are many theories concerning her disappearance one of them is the um group i'm going to be talking about um today sometime which is the love has one cult are being accused of having some kind of part in her death allegedly <clears throat> or causing her death or something like that or being the reason for her disappearance if she's not passed. So, because we don't know. So, I'm going to look into this <clears throat> and see what happens to this young lady. She does have one child. So, let's get to it. Spirit guides, guardian angels, please join me. Spirit guides, can you please show me with the tarot um, what happened to Crystal Ann Reisinger? What caused the disappearance of Crystal Ann Reisinger? What caused the disappearance of Crystal Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands. The Ace of Wands in reverse. And the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Um, did the Love Has One cult have something to do with causing the disappearance of Crystal and Light? Can you please show me if the Love Has One cult had anything to do the disappearance of Crystal and Reisinger. Did this cult that has one have anything to do with her disappearance? We have the King of Swords in reverse, the King of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups in reverse. Knight of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to say, just looking at all the cards as a whole, is I definitely feel that she was being pressured by the group of this cult of people, allegedly. I definitely think that that was, it has a lot of truth to it because of the um, Eight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So the Eight of Wands is things moving along very quickly or someone looking for quick decisions, you know, looking to pro progress quickly, looking for you to take actions, things taking off really, really fast, seeing results, um, finding solutions because you're not seeing the or getting the results that you want. Things progressing very, very fast. <clears throat> The Ace of Wands is her turning it down. So, they were, she was not interested. She had a lack of initiative, lack of passion. She wasn't interested, really, in starting anything new. I think, for me, what I've seen so far, this cult or people, this whatever it is, 
they will want to pick your spouse and you have to completely give them all of your material things. You no longer own anything. It's a community type thing. You have to sacrifice everything. And you completely lose control of your life. And with the Four of Pentacles, she was not wanting to give away her things, her possessions. She was clinging to them. She was not interested in doing it. She was too cling too much clingy to the material world and was not willing to accept the opportunity that she was being offered, so to speak. So the King of Swords in reverse is dishonesty, coldness, a very dishonest man. I'm feeling male energy being the driving force. I know that a woman is actually supposedly the leader of the love has a, you know, love has come or something. Love is one. Oh my God, I forgot it. But I really feel the male counterpart energy there um, was lost his cool and, you know, was trying to be rather aggressive using mental, like, mental tactics to try to break her down, to try to get her to come around and let go of her possessions so that he could be successful with the King of Pentacles and give the, the possessions to them. She did not bend and things took a quick nosedive because of his temper and not controlling himself. Um, the Three of Cups in reverse shows that the intentions of the love has one cult as a whole was not good. The full moon party, there's some kind of deception about that party. I think it's possible that she was alive until the full moon in my, or, you know, was killed probably in my opinion. Only my opinion, it's all alleged for entertainment purposes only. I don't want to get sued, so I'm just going to say that. I think that that was a sacrificial, sacrificial type thing because either you're with us or you're against us. And at that point, I think she knew a lot about the dynamics and stuff. And I believe, you know, she, they, they just weren't going to take no for an answer at that point. You know, they... There was a man that they left, like, just with nothing. He was actually found, I think, naked or something. I can't remember specifically right now, but there was some man that they had let out just to, because he wasn't interested in joining. That's the kind of tactics they used. They used that kind of tactic. But he was actually found alive. He actually made it. But he would have died had he not made it. Is it possible that the same thing happened to her? That is very, very possible. Um, that she just got dropped off in the middle of nowhere with nothing, with no food, no water, no way to get there. Maybe they were a little bit more successful with hers. Maybe, the, I don't know. But I do 100% feel like they are involved. Now, something I want to say just in general Crystals are not bad. The newer religion, New Age religious, religious movement isn't all bad either. There's nothing negative about those things. I think that everything that is on the earth, every religion that is on the earth, has some kind of importance to all of us as a whole because it exists. But um, there has to be some things you won't do like you you know morals are very important ethics are very important our own personal code having our own personal moral code and sticking to it and not allowing anybody to take us out of that because that is what happens when people go and join cults and stuff like that they're not on they're no longer on their own scale and in control. They're no longer in the driver's seat. They are allowing someone else to be in control and it muddies things up and they're not in touch with themselves and their own moral personal guidelines. They kind of mush together. 
And if the person that is in control of them, that's controlling their minds, is controlling them, if they have less than honorable intentions, it's terrible. It leads people down a path they would not normally ever go. And it's really, it's brainwashing in the greatest sense of the word it is. I mean, it doesn't, for me, it does not take the accountability away from the individuals that they allow to be brainwashed. It does not take their accountability away when they do things that are not right, like kill people, um, whatever they do that's negative. It does not make those things right. It does not make them unaccountable for their actions because they've been brainwashed or manipulated. But what it does make them is vulnerable. I mean, they were just vulnerable. They were vulnerable and they allowed themselves to be tempted to do something that they would not do under regular circumstances. And that's their fault. They should have recognized it, you know, and we all pay for that in different ways. And I feel like the ones that participate in murderous activities belong in prison along with the other ones just as long because you know we all pay for our mistakes in some one way or another and unfortunately you can't take them back and just because you aren't in necessary control or somebody else controlled your thinking you still did it so it doesn't you shouldn't have done it that's your fault it's your fault for doing it you know what I'm saying I think that the dynamics of cults and how these people get, like Manson, the Manson family, for instance, it's very common. And all it takes is weak-minded people. And not necessarily even weak-minded, like complacent people, um, followers, like B personalities, just going with the flow type people. You know, you think that you found these people that are very supportive, that are like-minded. You know, you think you're on the right path and then suddenly you end up in 10 feet of water and don't know how to swim. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I see. But she didn't. Okay, I just want to say that too. That Crystal was not willing to go against her own moral code. She was sticking to her guns and... She had to be dealt with because of that. Because I think that you either say, yes, you're going to join when they want you. Or you say no, and then you're dealt with harshly. Anyway, I love you guys. Let me know what you think.